Hello guys and girls, my name is Reese, and this is the One Chunk Challenge. A test of your building redstone and technical skills and the rules are simple. Rule number one, create a new world using either a random seed or a choice of your own. And when you spawn in, establish your chunk. Rule number two, you can destroy and collect any block in the world, but you can only place a block whilst inside of your chunk. No chests, no shulker boxes, ender chests, or even boats are allowed to be put down whilst outside of your new home. However, there are a few exceptions. Subblock light sources are the first exception. So end rods, yeah. Go for it. Light up them caves. Lanterns? Yeah, sure. Shroom lights? Absolutely not. The second exception is water and lava. You may use both of these outside of your trunk. You'll find that they'll help you navigate your new world. And the final exception is the end and the never. Even before the 116 update, the never was tricky enough to get around at the best of times. And with that in mind, the end and the never are the only dimensions where you can place blocks regardless of chunk boundaries. Rule number three, any violation of these rules must result in a timely dip in the happy fun source that we all know and love. Whilst having everything on you that you had when you made said offense. Did you place that block outside after getting that nice shiny new diamond pick? Off to the lava bath you go, sir. <laughs> This challenge is a real test of your knowledge of Minecraft and pushes the limits of what you think is possible in such a small space. Redesigning massive sugarcane farms to fit within a 16 by 16 area, only be able to place a block and a crafting table whilst inside your spawn. It's gonna be difficult. And so with that, I say good luck with your new and epic quest. And I cannot wait to see how you tackle this challenge. If you'd like to know more about this challenge and how it came about, there should be a link in the description where you will find the minecraft forum post where i found this challenge good luck jay hello everyone jay here and today we are doing the one chunk challenge yeah so uh before we start this off i want to give a big thanks to reese wo3 for actually you know creating that clip that you just saw at the beginning of this video and yeah um i'm actually really excited to be doing this and uh chicken is just staring at me uh hello but, um, yeah, basically, uh, this is just one chunk challenge. The rules were just explained. So, I guess let's just get into it. So, first things first we gotta do is actually identify what a chunk is. So, in order to do that, in Minecraft, you could just press F3 and G. And this is where the borders of your chunk will be shown. Uh, so, chunk borders go from here to the other side. And we literally can only place blocks within this one chunk. But we're allowed to explore and we're allowed to break blocks outside of this chunk. So uh, let's break this dirt so we can kind of identify where our border is. This is our chunk. We can now get out of F3 plus G. Uh, that's F3. This is F3 plus G. Okay, cool. And let's go over here to this, uh, I guess, Savannah Hills thing. I don't even know. But uh, let's go over here. Let's go to these trees and let's just demolish these trees. Those first things first, we need wood. Alright, so let's make this a little bit easier to see because from over there I could not tell what the border was. Alright, cool. So we kind of have our spot marked pretty well. Um, let's go, let's see here. Over there is a bunch of desert. There's a tree over here. So I'm going to break this tree and try to get the sapling from this tree. Because there's only really mainly a bunch of savanna bottom trees. And I don't really like that color of wood, I'm not going to lie. I am pretty picky when it comes to wood. I don't know why. I, I just am. I really am. Oh, wait. I just realized. Can I place down oak saplings? Um... I'm not gonna try it. I, I'm gonna play this a little bit safe, okay? I'm just not gonna... Try to just straight up kill myself right off the bat like that. Um, that wouldn't be good. So, let's see here. Uh, it's day is going by rather quickly, so I need to have some kind of a shelter. So let's go over, I guess, to here and let's break another tree so we can get some extra wood. All right, and there are sheep right here, so we can kill these sheep for wool. And 
And one more. And done. Alright, cool. So now we have enough wood and wool to make a bed so we could just sleep through the night. And I had to deal with any mobs. So good start right off the bat. Okay, so we got this right here. Now I have no clue how I'm gonna do this. Or how I'm gonna build my base. I think I wanna use the entirety of this chunk to build my base, but that might or might not be a stupid idea. I'm not entirely sure yet. But first, I should probably make that bed, because if I don't, I'm going to be dead. Boop. 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 Grab that. Place that here. Go to sleep. Alright, so, first day, said and done, pretty easy. You don't have to deal with any mobs, luckily, but let's go on and let's continue. So... Uh, I think what I want to do is kind of for my base. I don't know. I think for every room, what I want to do is maybe have like two thousand years later. So what we're gonna do is kind of build up, I guess, small walls. Kind of around here. So, we're gonna do small walls around here, then a doorway so that each, maybe every layer can have basically four rooms within every layer that all do different things. Cause I'm not really like into making like giant massive automation farms. I kinda just like doing like smaller farms and stuff. So I think that maybe if every layer will have like different quadrants for different things, then I think we could get that done. I think that would be pretty cool. Alright, so let's do that because I feel like that would be something cool that we could do. Um, for now, let's try to finish up this wall. Hey guys, Editor J here, and real quick, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just had to say um, there's some stuff that happened after this clip that I should probably explain. So, first off, during building my wall, I actually realized that you know I ran out of wood of course I was gonna end up doing that so basically I had to go out and look for some more wood and uh, after doing that a bit I decided that I wanted to go home and make a pickaxe because I saw some coal no Jay not an axe a pickaxe what what even is that is that wouldn't what what oh okay and um basically after that I had a look around and I decided to go check out a desert biome and that's where the video starts back up again uh, sorry for the little interruption. Uh, I'll try to not do this too often, but uh, yeah, anyways uh, back to the video Oh, there's a village directly in front of us. Okay, so this is good. There's a village over here Let's make like a dirt pillar so I can Kind of see how to get back Okay, so It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my God. I know I did not just do that. Uh, there's no lava over here, so I'm gonna... Here. Kill me. Kill me now. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Um, that was stupid. That was really stupid. I'm not gonna pick up my stuff when I head back there. That was so dumb. Oh my lord, I did not just do that. So let's go back. Yeah, normally whenever I go to a village or something, I make a pillar to see where I, to see where I was. So that, that way, if I need to head back home, I know what direction to head in. Um, it's not, it's just something I do in normal survival a lot, whenever I play by myself. But, um, yeah. I don't know, I guess I, I just completely forgot the challenge existed for a second. Oh my lord, okay. So, but luckily there's stuff here, and we can collect this hay, and we can make food. So this is a good source of food off the bat. This village was a great source of food right off the bat. And there you can see my stuff from when I uh, idiotically built that pillar. 
Um, yep, that's that's the last stop on the tour of stupidity. Yay. Anyway, so let's go around this village and let's see what they got here. Uh, I'm gonna be looting them because looting is fun. Yay. Um, let's also get rid of this. Let's also take this hay, not get rid of this hay. And also, there's a blacksmith right there. That is super convenient. There's actually not, I don't actually find a lot of villages with blacksmiths, so. That is lucky that on this world we actually got that. Hopefully we don't place a block again and lose this stuff. That would suck. Oh my god, that was a good chest. That was a extremely amazing chest. Okay. Damn, I see how this is. Oh my. Okay. Take these furnaces so we don't have to make them later. That was a really good blacksmith chest. That was really, really good. That was incredibly lucky. Uh, no chest here. Yeah, I'll stop opening and closing doors so much because I can't tell where I've been. Okay, um, grab this hay. Matter of fact, let's put all my physical blocks in my inventory. I gotta make sure to avoid my stuff so I don't pick it up. Let's head back home. Do 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 do. Alright, home sweet home. Jump right into bed. Let's skip through the night. Alright. So, that was a dumb death, but at least we got diamonds and stuff and food. Enough food to last us a long, long, long time. So. Yeah, good to know we don't really have to worry about food. We also got a pickaxe out of that, so that was also awesome. And, can't forget the most important thing, you know, all the diamonds we got from that. But, uh, yeah, so, we got food for days, and I'm good with this food. Um, let's see here. So, currently, we have five diamonds. I could probably make. Okay. Uh, I could probably make diamond tools with that, but I think I want to save them for the most part. So, um, we're going to have to go back over here, break some trees, and just do some stuff. And yeah. Alright, so I just finished all of that. I actually got a decent amount of wood and also I got some coal off of that. So now we can start smelting stuff. Um Let's see here. Let's go let's finish up the walls to our base because we should definitely at least have the walls done by now. And I guess let's just start I don't know building the second floor. And uh yeah. Alright, so this is kind of going to be, I guess, the inside of our base for now. Let's go ahead and grab these acacia logs. And let's, I don't know, I guess make a door out of them. Uh, this is a really bad looking door, but we're going to need it for now. Uh, yep, right here. Right here. And we're gonna put these doors right here and these are really bad doors but we're gonna have to deal with them for now boop, boop. all right so I guess right now all we really should be doing is I don't know I guess we could collect the dirt from our ground and then we can collect this dirt and then replace and then grab the dirt and then put it on the ceiling. 
Or, we're gonna probably be doing that next episode, if anything. But, yeah. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Third time. Alright, so... I didn't realize we weren't gonna be able to finish the entirety of the floor. So that's an oopsie on my part, but hey, I mean, it's done for the most part. Actually, let's grab these two pieces at the end, and let's move them to where the door, where the door is, and then we could go ahead and gather more acacia soon. So we can finish up our floor at the very least. Alright, well, actually, turning right into night time. So let's head back home. Or let's back, head back inside. Turning into night time. Let's just wait for it to turn all the way. I'm definitely gonna need windows <laughs> soon. So that desert biome right over there is actually gonna be incredibly helpful. It's a brand new day, but sadly I'm gonna have to end it here. But before I do, I just wanna say one more time, thank you to ReeseW3. I really appreciated you doing the whole clip for me at the beginning. And if you guys enjoyed watching me do this challenge, you'll enjoy watching him even more. He has a whole series on it, you should go check it out. Also, if you want more information on this challenge or its rules in its entirety, make sure to click on the Minecraft forum link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye